the things I said shouldn't fail you now Unless you're looking for a miracle I was 21 when I got my first tattoo. I really wanted tattoos right from when I was like 12 years old. From seeing pictures of Henry Rollins and Kerrang, I just wanted tattoos like Henry Rollins. Thankfully, I waited till I was 21, because otherwise I would have flames and eight balls in my neck, you know, and it would be really a bad selection. Or I probably would just have Henry Rollins tattoos. Back then, he was like, oh, I'll get the same tattoo as this guy. So yeah, 21 was my first, and then I really kind of started to fall in love with it. You know, my late 20s, that was when I, start to see the depth and the artists and their work and everything so really I'm on a kind of bit of a journey now where I, I travel to see specific artists so it's, it's turned into a big part of my life. They often represent a time and a place and a moment in your life it's a, a nice way to just kind of cement a, a memory if you like and just constantly to look at something to think about the time maybe to think about an emotion. Uh, Not all of my tattoos are the, maybe the best quality you know some of them are <laughs> Frank. That, that doesn't mean that I regret them either. You know, I think life is full of things that aren't great, but I think to have regrets about that, no, I, I, I don't tend to think of that. I just, it's happened now. You embrace your flaws. Yeah, yeah things absolutely. You've got, we've got to, as human beings, you've got to embrace your flaws. Yeah. You've got to embrace bad decisions as much as good decisions. I think Kaim Maklev, who's a wonderful tattoo artist who works out in Berlin, he's originally from Israel, he has he just kind of started making these wonderfully kind of geographic kind of mathematical kind of shapes and tattoos. He does a lot of Manda Mandal mandalas. He does a lot of them, and we we were really drawn to the, kind of the way his mind works mathematically. So that was over the years we've had the Biffy Bs, we've got puzzle pieces, mm -hmm. we have we've all got three number fives mm -hmm. to represent our fifth record. It got a bit abstract there for a while, <laughs> and. Uh, and this time, I think we, we really wanted something that did actually connect us together. Chaim, I don't think he'd done any tattoos across more than one body, but as soon as we started talking about it with him, it really felt like we were doing something quite important, and obviously it's only important to us, mm -hmm. but it really felt like, yeah, we're, let's combine ourselves forever. So it came on the day, was when we came up with that idea. We, we all had space, and I think Chaim was just looking at, as I say, he was watching us, <laughs> and, stuff, and he just kind of went, I have it, you know, like one piece across all our backs, so we didn't really toss coins. I only, I've only got space in the back of my thigh, so that was the only place I could get it done, which limited my choices, but it was just such a glorious idea. It was just a way to combine as, you know, the tattoo isn't complete until we're together, and I think that's quite symbolic of everything we've done in our lives. And A lot of people thought we were, we were crazy, like, why would you go through that process? Not a lot of people, some people were like, that's such a big commitment, and, and it was like, <laughs> we've been in a band together for 20, 20 years, we were committed, yeah, yeah. love each other, you know, we have got a tattoo, a bit of ink. It's I know, we like, have thought it through by this I know, point. I know, I know, I know. It was kind of funny, why are you doing that? It's like, why are we not doing it? Why are you not doing it? It's not like your first lover getting their, no, na their name no, tattooed no. in your chest, you know. <laughs> I like that people get glimpses of it. It's like just showing a little bit of leg or something. Just tease what's underneath <laughs> what's underneath. <laughs> Torch and pass it round We need something that's flammable